Okay, a small update here. Uh, as you can see, the new war machine and the old one. All right, let's start off with this first. Face plate hinges. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we got here. So as you can see, the hinges simply go up and over the top. So basically, um, a lot of geometry is involved. But as you can see, it's uh, just a set of two arms, two base plates, and you want to have the arc go up and over the top, so it lifts up over the top of the helmet. So, you take a look at this from the inside. Let's see if you can see from the inside here. Right where that glue is is where the the, uh, the hinges uh, attach, and as it goes up. It ends up going up to that point. So, um, can't really tell you how these were created. It was a lot of trial and error. Uh, some geometry, or a lot of geometry was involved. Um, you can see up there the servo. Um, this is from the original fa electric op opening faceplate uh, video I did earlier last year. But uh, as you can see, there's a significant gap up there. Uh, that's why I was having problems with it opening back up. Anyways, so that's the old War Machine helmet. Those are the hinges. I've redesigned them now. Uh, so, but those are the old style hinges there. Um, here's the new War Machine helmet. War Machine helmet. So, um, as this goes, it's getting smoother. The jaw's been fixed. It's straight. And that's been smoothed out. So, excuse the mess back there. I'm still working on the lower half of it. But anyway, so, um, new helmet, old helmet, hinges. Guys, have any questions? Subscribe. Uh, let me know. All right, thanks, guys.